What's up, guys? This is the Big Walu here, and we're about to get shot out of a cannon. Come on. Get in there. Get. There we go. We're flying! So, yeah, in the last episode, we got the seventh treasure key, and now we're going to fight the boss. Die of the storm. Delightful. We have a guest. The only thing is, I hate unexpected guests. Listen, Raleigh. Wipe up my family and steal what's mine. You better expect company. Oh, I'm ever so sorry. How sloppy of me not to finish the job. Obviously, we should have snuffed you out as well. So, without further ado, let me make an end of my what? Bloating to gargantuan size and squashing you like the insignificant bug that you are! Bring it on. Okay, so here we go, Sir Raleigh the Frog. He's gonna gorge himself on flies and he's going to try and squish you. What you wanna do is you wanna jump from platform to platform. Wait for him to do that and smack him in the face. And this is gonna go out for a period of four rounds. And this round, he gets rid of all the other platforms, so you gotta just do this on one platform. Which honestly isn't that hard, you just move around to avoid him. If you just keep moving around, you won't get hit. And then you get. Oh, I missed. Damn it. Yeah, it's really annoying when you miss because you gotta go through the entire animation again and again. And again. It's kind of one of the more boring boss fights, but then again, it's the first boss in here. Obviously, the first boss is going to be fairly easy, fairly boring. So now, it's a little bit more interesting, because now when you touch those platforms disappear. So you have to actually are forced to move from platform to platform. It's going to... Nope. Now. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so this is... Alright, so last hit. Let's go. Come on. Okay, this one. You gotta jump. Jump rope. Jump rope. Jump rope. Jump rope. Bam! Blast it all! You've beaten me! Well, gloat all you want, Sly Cooper. You're no match for Mudshot, my villainous cohort in Utah. Mesa City is so well guarded, a snake couldn't slither in without setting off alarms. <laughs> Raleigh section of the Thievius Raccoonus held detailed instructions on how to perform my ancestor Ryoichi Cooper's Ninja Spire Jump. A technique he developed while sneaking into the thickly fortified castles of feudal Japan. Finding a way off Raleigh's boat got a little tricky with the untimely arrival of Inspector Fox who, failing to find me, busted Raleigh and his crew. Hot chick with guns busted and produced yuck mouth. With the storm machine out of commission, boats found their way back onto the ocean, and the mystery of the Welsh Triangle faded from memory. Yeah. My gang and I loafed around England for a while, enjoying the pleasant weather, and then headed back home, excited for our next heist. Alright, so... It's been three minutes. I took the liberty of pinning your mission map up on the wall. You can use it to warp directly to any levels you've already visited. Yeah, I don't want to, though. So, um, it's been four minutes, so I'm just gonna We're continue on to the next to world. To so let's go to Utah! <laughs> and one of my favorite villains. It had been a while since I'd been back in the U.S. Next up, the notorious mugshot. Ruthless muscle of the fiendish thigh. What he lacked in brains, he definitely made up for in brawn. Turns out he wasn't always that way. He grew up as the run of the litter. A neighborhood weakling. The only friends he could turn to were usually found on the big screen. It was there that he spotted his first gangster, and he knew instantly that that's what he wanted to be. He spent the rest of his youth working real hard to get there, fueled on his dreams of great power and respect. 
With enough perspiration, he realized that dream. He'd become a hard-boiled, street-brawling, tough-as-nails gangster, ensuring that he'd never be kicked on or pushed around again. So he's holed up in Mesa City, huh? I've always wanted to go to that thriving American boom town. Sly Cooper. Sunset. So here we are in Mesa City, Utah. And we're going to start a rock. We're going to do a rocky start. Huh. Sounds like my LP. So, anyways, um, as you notice, this has 40 bottles now. And um, Mesa City clearly isn't what it used to be. So, uh, let's start off here. Hey, Sly, I thought you said Mesa City was going to be loud and busy. This looks more like a ghost town. Something's happened. Where is everyone? I don't know, but it's starting to give me the creeps. What do you say we take off? And miss all the fun? Besides, I want to try out that new move I got from Raleigh's section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the Ninja Spire Jump? Yeah. Do me a favor and read me the instructions again. To land us safely upon diminutive points, leapeth lively and presseth the triggering device with the round geometrical object emblazoned upon it. So jump and hit the circle button to land on narrow spots. That's a rough translation. <laughs> Oh, uh, every single move, jump and hit the circle button. It doesn't change, either. Every single other game has the same thing. Not that I mind that, it's very simple. That way you don't have to worry about pressing tons of buttons to do complicated techniques. It's just jumping at the circle button. So yeah, this is actually one of my favorite levels of this game. Uh, it's my most memorable, at least, because I remember the, the first one went by so quickly. Third one will soon learn. You will soon learn that I deplore. Uh, the fourth one I actually don't remember very well, because my dad played through it without telling me. And the fifth world... Oh, the fifth world's pretty cool, too, but I'm not going to spoil anything, because you guys see that when we come to it. Ooh. But yeah, no, this is the one that I remember the most. Just because it's... It, I just love Mugshot. I love the area here. It's really, really cool. I mean, I've always loved, like, desert, rocky landscapes and stuff. Not that I don't like other landscapes as well, but this is just my favorite. Sadly, some of the missions here are kind of annoying to do. But, uh, we'll get into that a little bit later. Oh, no! Gangsters. They try to be cool with all the clubs and muscles and guns and everything. But they're not cool. What's with those flashing lights? The latest in high tech security electronic floor sensors. Step on them and you're a godder. Nice touch. They're safe to walk on while flashing, but it also means they're about to switch to a different sector. So basically what I'm doing with these things, it's fairly simple, it's literally just... Well, first of all, don't get electrocuted, obviously. But, um, these are the same as, like, the yellow yellow lasers as before. If you hit it once, no big deal. If you hit it twice, you're gonna get hurt. But, um, with these, you want to jump when it starts flashing, because you can walk on it while it's flashing. It's really not that hard. But now that I say that, I'm probably gonna die on one of them. Um... Actually, the bottles here are very hard to get because they're all, like, in really weird places. Um, because this is actually a really big intro stage. Um, and they're, they're hidden fairly well. I mean, you actually have to go out of your way to get these bottles. Which makes sense. I mean, as you go along, it's going to get a lot harder. Oh, I totally fell right. That was, that was, that was my fault. That was my fault. <laughs> that was entirely my fault. I was not paying attention. Actually, it's not like anything else wasn't my fault. Everything else, <laughs> All the other deaths were kind of my fault for not paying attention. And not hitting the circle button when I needed to. 
jump and hit the circle button to do everything. Jump, smack. Except when you got to kill enemies, because then you gotta jump and hit the square button. Alright, so... Yeah, see, we're only like a little bit more than halfway to the... Damn! Stupid bulldogs. So here we have a new, another, uh, new trap. Stompers. What better way to demonstrate it than me getting flattened by them? Uh, I always did believe in first-hand examples. Then again, when it, um, when it deals with my death, I don't think that would be such a good idea. But yeah, that's how, um... I should explain this, um, every world, at the beginning of every world, always introduces you to, um, a new move, which we saw at the beginning here, the Ninja Spire Jump, which is really jump onto points. There are really small points with that move. I'll be right back, my phone is ringing. Sorry about that, um, my friend called on the home phone, so I had to pick that up. Um, <laughs> but yeah, anyways... Uh, where were we? Oh yeah, we got 29 bottles, and we were on this level. Oh my god! There are muscular gangsters everywhere. This place is dangerous. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Prisoners using their own wrecking balls. Makes perfect sense. Actually, this one is the most memorable part. It's just like, this, this one little tunnel entrance thing with the, uh, with sensors and everything. And then this part, where I've died several times on. Oh, this part is actually... The thi when I think of Sunset Snake, guys, this is what I think of right here! Oh, well, there we go. That part's actually fairly difficult to figure out. Okay, so... Oh, please tell me I have any bottles. I don't, do I? I, I don't have enough bottles. <laughs> Why does this happen in the introduction level every time? Son of mm. I'll be right back. Get the rest of the bottles that I missed. Well, at least it's not one bottle this time. At least this time it's like four. Actually, I don't know if that's good or bad. It's probably a lot worse. Uh, actually, I think I know where these are, so I'm not gonna cut it, because... Yeah, they're... Oh, well, three of them are right here. Oh, I missed those. Alright, so where's the last one? Oh, I know... I think I do. I know the vault's over here. I think there's a bottle over here, too. Is there? No. Alright. I'm gonna cut now. And... Find that last bottle that I so carelessly missed. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay. Seriously? This is how jerkish they are. This is where they put one of the bottles. Right behind where you fall off of. Actually, I don't even need to cut that. That was like two seconds. Like, this, where, the, where you fought that card player... You literally have to fall down back behind the car to get that bottle. Jeez! Talk about jerkish level design. Oh well, at least we, um... Um... At least we got it. And I actually didn't die on the way back, so it's perfectly fine. But yeah, that's how jerkish they get with the, with the bottle, the, uh, the level designs. They hide the bottles in places where you would not think to look. It's kind of ridiculous. Oh, whatever. I guess they gotta hide them something. They gotta make it difficult somehow. So, well, Brian, if you would go to the... You would go to the vault instead of the end of the level. That's the whole point. That's the whole reason why you freaking got the bottle in the first place. So you can get to the vault, open that, and get the new move or whatever it is that we're getting. You don't get the bottles and then go to the end of the level. That's not where the vault is. The vault's right over here somewhere. 
I'm really scatterbrained today. I'm sorry. The vault. Press the circle to enter the vault code. And here we go. A little bit of higher mathematics and voila! Dial in three, one, four. Okay. Three, one, four. And here we go! Opening the vault! And we get... Outstanding! You've uncovered Rob McCooper's patented explosive hat technique. Oh, this Use thing. the triangle button to toss your cap. Then use the triangle button again to detonate it. Better back off to a safe distance first. Yes, yeah, so, um, some of these are really not that useful. Like, the only ones I ever use are the dive and the slow-mo. Um, sometimes I use the roll, but that's, like, very infrequently. Uh, but this is to demonstrate the- actually, I probably should just sit here and demonstrate everything. Uh, the dive technique I already demonstrated. The slow I already demonstrated. The roll is this. They just, you, you know, just chill, roll on the ball. And this is what the mine does. You throw your hat. Back up. You triangle again. Explosion. It's a very pitiful explosion, but oh, whatever. Take what you can get. Um. Anyways, so let's get to the end of the level and get the first treasure key of this area, and we'll call it an episode. Here we are, the first treasure key of Sunset Snake Eyes. And now we're going to go into Mesa City. Let's go! To the hub area of the world! Whee! Mugshot's Turf. Sounds a lot better than prowling the grounds. But uh, yeah, I'm going to end the episode off here. Uh, next time on Sly Cooper, we will go explore Mugshot's Turf. And hopefully do a couple other levels, get some saves, and some treasure keys. See you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.